Hello again, it's Manda. This is episode three of Mornings with Manda. I'm so excited to see you. If you don't already know, I'm a kindergarten teacher and I have 15 years of experience and I'm here to make sure you keep on learning and keep having fun. This morning, we're going to say good morning in our little song. Are you ready? Get out your waving hand. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. It's so nice to see you. Good morning to you. Now you can sing good morning to your grown up or your doll or whoever's in the room with you. Ready? One, two, three. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. It's so nice to see you. Good morning to you. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be back talking to you again. Today we're gonna talk about colors and my aunt wrote you a song all about colors. I like to write songs and she likes to write songs too. She's probably my inspiration. So I'm going to sing this song to you and you can sing along. Are you ready? Find the colors. Let's read the title together. Find the colors. You might recognize this tune. It's Beethoven's Ninth. Ready? Look to see if you can find the colors all around you. Red and blue and green and purple colors that surround you. Let's do just that part. Ready? Find the colors. Look to see if you can find the colors all around you. Red and blue and green and purple colors that surround you. There's the sun so bright and yellow, blue birds in the sky above. Now let's take a look around you. Find the colors that you love. Let's do it. Look around the room. <gasps> what do I see? I'm in my basement and I see a pink balloon. Let me find a color from the song. Okay. Red. What do I see that's red? <gasps> Over there, I see a red apple on the counter. What do you see that's red in your house? We're going to write about it a little in writing time, so start to think about that while we're singing the song. All right, get your voices ready. Find the colors. Look to see if you can find the colors all around you. Red and blue and green and purple colors that surround you. There's the sun so bright and yellow, blue birds in the sky above. Now let's take a look around you. Find the colors that you love. <gasps> I think I see a sight word too. Two? The sight word too. Right there. Does anyone else see another sight word? I don't think I see we, but I said I see a sight word. I know the T H E the T H E the T H E the. Hmm. Any more thes? Anyone out there see another the? I don't. So let's clap out the. Ready? T H E the 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 T H E the 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 let's do it T H E the 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 you can get up T H E the 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 let's sky write T H E let's write it on our hands T H E 
you can grab your whiteboard or your pad or your paper and write it down. Make a huge the, make a little teeny the, and make a medium size the. Be careful of your handwriting. That lowercase e sure is tricky. Try your best. Let's sing our song one more time before we move on to our writing activity about colors. Find the colors. I'm going to point to just the whole sentence. Track it with your eyes. Look to see if you can find the colors all around you. Red and blue and green and purple colors that surround you. There's the sun so bright and yellow, bluebirds in the sky above. Now let's take a look around you, find the colors that you love. Let's do a 30 second erase. See if we can get it done in 30 seconds. I'm going to erase. Ready everybody? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, uh-oh, five, six, keep counting, seven, eight, uh-huh, am I going to make it? Let's start it. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, did I do it? 30, you made it to 30, nice counting. We can't forget how to count, counting so important. So, writers, grab your writing crowns, put them on your head, say, I'm a writer. Before we start, I want to tell the grown-ups a little bit of an activity that you can do. You can create your own writing crown or reading crown, or you can make a writing hat or a reading hat. All you need is some brown paper shopping bags or a big piece of construction paper, some tape, some markers, some things to decorate, and you can help your child decorate a reading crown or a writing crown. Then when we practice saying, get on your reading hat or get on your reading crown, they can put it on their head and they can be excited to read and write. We can also have a math crown. So let's see. Today we sang all about colors. We're going to make what's known as a pattern book. So what we need is a bunch of paper. I would say do four sheets. One, two, three. Oh, these are stuck together. So that's three and that's four. I have my four sheets of paper. Then you can have a grown up staple them for you or you can do it at the end when you turn off the show. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to get a book to lean on and put it right here so that you can see what I am doing. So I'm going to make a pattern book and my pattern book is going to think about colors. I'm going to start with a marker or a pen. I chose brown, my color brown. And I'm going to think about it. What do I see? <gasps> I said before, I see a red apple. So that's what I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write a pattern. So my pattern's going to go like this. I see a red apple. I see a red lollipop. I see a red truck. Just like that. So each page is going to fill out the pattern. So I could write, I now don't forget your two finger space. It's a new word. I see a red apple. All the words are neat. You can copy me or you can do your own book. So 
I see a red apple. I need some punctuation. I'm going to write a period because it's kind of a normal sentence. I see a red apple. Now it's time to illustrate. I'm going to do my best, drawing my best apple. There's my best apple, and guess what color I need? I need red. So I'm going to look, see if I have a red. I'm going to color, 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 color it in. Color, 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 color it in. Try my best, try my best to stay in the lines. Color, color, color all of the time. So that's my first page. I see a red apple. If writing's pretty easy for you and you want to make it a little bit tricker, trickier, <laughs> that didn't sound right, you are going to extend your sentences. So you might write, I see a red apple. It is so yummy. Or I see a red apple on the shelf. Whatever you need. So you'll know what kind of writer you are and if you're a beginner writer or you've been writing all year long. So we did the page where I see a red apple. Then I'm going to think about, what do I see in the room that's red? I remember I see a red balloon over there. So I'm going to do, I see a red balloon. This is your book. So think about what you've seen before or you see that's red. So I'm going to write, I see a red balloon. Think of all the sounds yourself. Stretch it out by yourself. Just try your best. Don't ask your grown up. You have to think, hmm, I have s like snake. I'm going to write an S. I see a red balloon. Time to draw my best balloon. There's only one because it doesn't say I see red balloons. It says I see a red balloon. Then color it in, color it in. What color are we going to color it? R-E-D, red. And that could even be a new sight word for you. Your grown up could write it on a card. R-E-D, red. And you can clap it out. You know how to do that. So, so far, let's read our book. This is good for reading and writing. Ready, everyone? I see a red apple. I see a red balloon. It's your turn to try. Whisper to your thumb what you hear, what you see that's red. I see a red lollipop. I see a red lollipop. You're gonna write down whatever you see. So try your best. I Space, see a red lollipop. Ah, that's a tricky sound. It's O octopus ah pop. I see a red lollipop. You know what to do next. Draw your best lollipop and color it in, color it in. And then you can keep going. You can write as many pages as you like. Try to do at least three pages. So let's read now. Ready, everybody? Grab your reading hats and reading crowns and reading helmets and put them on your head. Click. I see a red balloon. When we staple this, this will be easier. I see a red apple. I see a red lollipop. Great reading, great writing. Keep up the good work. Today's Read Aloud was my favorite book growing up. It was the first book I learned to read, and my mom would read it to me every night before I went to bed. The monster at the end of this book. Hello, everybody. Someone drew all over this book. I think it was me. 
What did you say? On the first page, what did you, what did that say? Did that say there will be a monster at the end of this book? It did? Oh, I'm so scared of monsters. What are you scared of? Whisper to your thumb something you're scared of. Shh, listen, I have an idea. If you do not turn any pages, we will never get to the end of this book. And that is good because there's a monster at the end of this book. So please don't burn, turn the page. Should we turn the page? Yeah, I want to turn the page. <gasps> you turn the page! Maybe you do not understand. You see, turning pages will bring us to the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book. But this will stop you from turning pages. See, I'm try I am tying the pages together so you cannot. Ah! You turned another page. You do not know what you're doing to me. Now stop turning pages. <gasps> there, I Grover am nailing this page so that the next one so that you will not be able to turn it and we will not get any closer to the monster at the end of this book. Bing bong, bing bonk. All right, all right, all right. Do you know that every time you turn another page, you not only get us closer to the monster at the end of this book, but you make a terrible mess. Oh my goodness, how do you think he's feeling and why? This will stop you from turning pages. A heavy, thick, solid, strong brick wall. I would just like to see you try to turn this page. Do you know that you're very strong? The next page is the end of this book and there's a monster at the end of this book. Oh, I am so scared. Please do not turn the page. Please, please, please. Well, look at that. This is the end of the book and I'm the only one here. The only one here is me. I, lovable, furry old Grover, am the monster at the end of this book. And you were scared. That was such a fun book. Were you surprised or did you know it the whole time? Nice listening.